What's up, ladies and gentlemen? One and only James Williams, Dark Waters, and I'm back. It's kind of dark in here, but that's okay. Deal with it. You'll be all right. This is one of the things I want to touch on right now, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how long this video going to be. I'm not sure how long I feel like talking to you. But I still like you. I just may not want to talk to you. I act funny like that sometimes. But watch this. J.D. Vance says that he's disgusted that Biden called Trump supporters garbage. Imagine what they say in private. We don't have to imagine, J.D. Vance. We done heard every damn thing they had to say about us. We done heard it. And we've heard it from their constituents. We've heard it from family members and friends that they drove absolutely insane and nuts with their rhetoric. Earlier, I was talking about the fact that the CIA has been allowed to propagandize the American people. You add in the fact that which this article is talking about, that there is no defamation liability for anyone in the news that they're talking about a public figure, meaning they can legally lie about you and not get sued. You have this recipe for a disaster and it's a recipe for lies and spinning and twisting, but it's a little bit worse than that. What happens is eventually they brainwash people. And once they identify the right group of people and they brainwash them, now they can activate them and they get active. That's what we witnessed with the Black Lives Matter with St. George Floyd, the one who who was became Black Jesus. Remember the Black Jesus, St. George Floyd? Um, and that's what we witnessed with January 6th, January 6th, January 6th, January 6th, January 6th, January 6th. Screw what your eyes showed you. Screw that you've seen videos with little old ladies walking into the Capitol building between red ropes with flags. Just walking. Ain't throwing up, ain't tearing up nothing. But see, that's what can happen when the media repeats something to you over and over and over and over again. It's like somebody telling you Telling a kid that's in perfectly good shape, you're going to be fat, you fat, you fat, you fat, you fat. Eventually, that plants a seed in that kid's head, and that kid gains weight. That's why you have to protect your mental um, from what people say. Then when people get to talking crazy about you, really want to deal with it, you say, man, I, if I'm not mistaken, I read my Bible that it said every tongue that speaks in judgment of me, I shall condemn. Boy, shut up. I condemn, I condemn your tongue in the name of Jesus Christ. And then watch that look on their face. They're going to be like, what the hell happened? What was that? What does that mean? You figure it out later, boy. You figure it out later. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Watch this. Back to the story. So, the point I'm making to you is this. They have brainwashed these people. And leading up to the next two days on the 5th, if things go the way they should go, and by that, I mean that Donald Trump blows them out of the water to the point to where, you know, the polls open, the polls don't need to close because everybody voted for him. Let's just go best case scenario. You know what I'm saying? The polls open. The numbers come in everywhere in places they don't expect them to come in. They don't have an opportunity to do the steal. They can't do the steal. Bing. Let's say 11 o'clock. We know Donald Trump is president. Here's what I want you to understand. By 1230 that night, you're going to have these crazy people screaming, losing their mind because everything they've been told is that Donald Trump is the devil. And these people are mentally unstable because they've been through um, the most hardcore brainwashing the American population has ever been into. So watch this. You come through. Donald Trump is bad, 2016, right? Election. Trump is bad. He grabbed him by the pussy. He do this. He do that. He do this. He do that. Who do this? Blah blah blah. He wins. You see him out there crying. <laughs> Trump won. That was the initial phases of the Trump derangement syndrome. What people saw in the media and what the controllers saw was, damn, that worked pretty good. So they kept it up throughout his whole time he was in office, right? Then we go into COVID. Now we're here to get hit with COVID and those same people are isolated alone at home and all by themselves. And they sitting at home and it was the news coverage was split between how bad Donald Trump was and COVID and how your family going to die and COVID. 
and they anchored mentally anchored those people to Donald Trump being negative through the COVID marketing campaign, which was something like four billion dollars worldwide. So now we come back around, it's election time, everything is going down. They like, and they've been told Kamala's good, Kamala's great, she's fantastic, Kamala's good, Kamala's great. And this whole time, their brains have been being fractured because everything that you see that the news tells you about Kamala, you clearly see the opposite. And we know it because we've seen their coalition. Uh, I would call the coalition of the willing, the super friends of racial coalition, the blacks, the Latinos, the Asians. You've seen their super, their super friends, the coalition, break apart and crumble. Stick with me. I'm almost there. Don't don't get distracted. Look at me. Don't 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 get distracted. Stay right there. Stay right there. Don't talk. Just listen. So, the coalition gets destroyed. So we got everything that these people believed about these people, these people, I mean, the Democrat constituents, everything that they believed has been wrecked right in front of their eyes. And they can't blame Kamala because the program tells them Kamala's good, Kamala's good, Kamala's good. The ones who are going to wake up, they don't woke up. The ones who ain't going to wake up, Boy, they're sleeping and they're sleeping hard in the slumber. And so what's going to end up happening is you're going to have violence and you're going to have craziness. Unlike anything you've ever seen. You're going to see people behaving like this. Give me one second. What, what she want with a crazy mind? Well, yeah, crazy girl. Show yourself, girl. Here she go. You're going to have people behaving like this. Listen to this girl. Now, I'm going to tell you. Part of me believes that Trump derangement syndrome is demonic possession because and there's no other way to explain how this mind bug of all these people who say the same thing that logic they just can't logically like get it together. So I can be in Metairie at Popeye's and talking to somebody about Donald Trump and they're going to have the exact same terminology, phrases and everything. And have the exact same look in the eyes as the guy I talked to uptown um, at Popeye's. And they're both going to say the same thing, but the look in their eyes is the same. And that's what made me think is a demon. DW, are you saying that Kamala Harris reporters, uh, supporters are demonized? They, they, they demonically possessed? No, not all of them. No, 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 no. Not everybody. Everybody's not demonically possessed. But people like this? Yeah, yeah, they are. Trump, I hate you. <laughs> You will never be president again. You bastard. You costed me my dad. My dad was the most important person in the world to me. But now his colors are finally out. I hate you. You orange pumpkin bed. I hate you, you stupid, stupid, failed. Businessman, <laughs> you f sickened me. You and all of your f Trump supporters. <laughs> you. Now, I don't know how he cost her, her dad. Maybe it's because her dad, you know, decided he's not going to talk to her anymore. Maybe it's because her dad died of COVID. I mean, I could see if, you know, her dad passed away from COVID and she's like, oh, well, yeah, 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 you, you cost me my dad. That would, that would make all the sense in the world, right? Uh, I, I can see that. But what I can't get is, and what I don't get is, if it's just because your daddy don't want to talk to your crazy ass, it might just be because you crazy. And if you was crazy, your mama was crazy, so it's his fault in the first place because he got them damn crazy genes. So I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure, but what I can tell you is, it's the behavior pattern. Watch this, sister. Go and talk to him, sister. She about to tell you what she went through. Good afternoon, guys. Uh, I have two videos that I'm going to show you. Good afternoon, girl. Uh, I had a very fiery interaction with a liberal this morning. Uh, this is not foreign for me. It happens. People look at me. They assume that because I'm black and because I'm a black female, uh, obviously I'm a Democrat. Hey Amen. They do it to me all the time. Then they get a mouthful. 
Sit your silly behind down. So these attacks uh, tend to happen, uh, but not as ferocious as today's attack. Because she was demonized. And we're sitting at the table. We're kind of mulling on. They demon, sister. They demonize. They got full fledged demons in over um, some of the questions and answers from the interview. Um, and at some point I say, you know, as a conservative woman, I could never vote for Kamala Harris uh, because of, and I gave reasons, right? And then this uh, white woman sitting next to me leans over and this is where you will see the first video pick up when she leans. I ain't got that video. I'm going to tell you right now, I ain't got that video. I just wanted to hear what she had to say about it. Now, I can go find a video, but I ain't with all that copyright and stuff. But let me, I'm on, I'll keep it going. Into me. So much so that I have to pull back, right? And she says, unless she's running against a convicted felon, a criminal. So what you're trying to tell me is this broad was over there ear hustling. Shorty and her friends having lunch talking. She ear hustling, then she butts into their conversation. It wasn't none of her damn business what they were talking about. But see, this is the audacity of the liberals. I'm telling you, there was a liberal creator uh, in, a, in the cryptic field, the storytelling realm. They ain't talked to this boy in five years. I helped them, did all kinds of stuff for the little dude, gave him money. Ain't talked to him in five years. When I start talking about Trump, he comes out and says, yeah, you and I need to have a discussion. Negro, I ain't talked to you in five whole entire years. But they have this audacity. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I'm going to get him straight. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to kiss my behind. And if you got something to say, go on your channel and you say it. And if you say it loud enough and it makes enough sense for me to respond to you, then I'll respond until then. No, no, no. Go sit in the corner somewhere, homie. Eat your, your Wheaties. But th that's the audacity. And that's how you know they've been brainwashed. Like, things that don't make make sense to do, they do. You know what I'm saying? Angry. It's, it's not important enough for you to be angry about it. They're angry about it. They overstep the lines. They end up being habitual damn line steppers. They come in your house and they sit on your sofa and then they put their muddy boots on your sofa and they stump on your sofa. And then when you smack the piss out of them, they cry and whine, I can't believe you smacked me. I have a right to feel the way I feel. I, I did, you, you bought this sofa. You didn't have to hit me because I stepped on your sofa. That's my damn sofa. But it's our fault because, see, we let these people get in power. We should have been smacking the taste out of them out a long time ago. So rather than be triggered by this, I, I just retort with a, with a joke. But now I see you can't joke with liberals because no. when they say something, they mean it. Mm -hmm. And they're not, they don't find the humor in in anything. They don't or have a sense of humor. They don't get it when you're trying to de-escalate things and, and just, I, really, you just need to come out and say, stay in your lane. You know, you need to just be aggressive. Yeah, mind you, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about. She, she get it. What you need to say, hey, 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 motherfucker, I want to talk to you. Mind your fucking business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mind your business. Ain't nobody talking to you. And that's the problem. See, they, they smart how they did it, though. See, they got everybody into a position where everybody's being all nice and sweet and kind. It's loving. It's liberal. Don't be mean to me. And then they come out and they like vicious rabbit dogs. What did you say about Trump? Satan resides inside of me. Satan wants me to tell you that I will sacrifice you on my altar to him. Yes, I see you have a jerry curl. I will pull out your curls one by one and let your soul glow. And then she just turned around and started eating her dinner. And leave you caught up like what kind of crazy foolishness is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, she got that curl. Just let your soul glow, yeah. Make it look so silky smooth. So I said to her, I said, oh, you mean like uh, the criminal that she currently serves with? What you should have said is shut your ass up. Uh, Joe Biden. So, you know, my table, we laughed. It was, you know, it was a little funny. But that set her off. Mm -hmm. You know, you would think that she'd have the wherewithal to just say, you know what, all right. But no, she said, are you serious? Yeah, because you her slave. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they've been told y'all, they own y'all. You black and you a woman? Oh, no, no. You a liberal slave. Yeah, yeah. She could talk to you any kind of way you want. That's what the news media tell her. That's what Barack Obama told her. That's what Michelle Obama tell him. Oh, you black and you a woman? Oh, no. We own you. Not only do we own you, we own your vagina and we own the children that come out of you. You better abort that baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. All I'm saying is, homie. Yeah, yeah, huh. She came in my face. Are you serious? Should have should have knocked them lips off. Bow. But see, there's a problem with smacking them teeth out her mouth. See, that'd be the same woman. She would have hold off and smacked her. Oh boy, she with that same performance we saw earlier right here. See this performance this girl gave? This would be the performance for the police right here. This would be the performance. You bastard, you costed me my dad. My dad was the most important person in the world to me. But now his colors are fine. You see, you see that performance? Remember I was telling you on the last video, this is what happened. It's male and female liberals. Don't matter. It's male and female liberals. This is that this is the behavior that they fall back on when it's all said and done. I dealt with one. Talked to all kind of crazy foolishness publicly. Everything. Called me everything under the sun. When I started to breathe, ha, back at him. Start crying. I never seen a grown man cry like that on 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 the internet. I didn't even I hadn't even got started. You know, I had people talking about me. I'm sitting on the sofa watching. I ain't even lace my boots up. I just turn on the microphone and go. And they start crying and whining after six months of talking crazy. But they're liberal. Live in a liberal city of Austin. Fucking liberal. Crazy. The minute <sighs> he said something about me. <laughs> they're crazy, dog. They're crazy. Then what ends up happening with them is they get with their little friends. All the liberals get together. Well, we're going to do this, this, this. Then they get a little boldness, get a little courage. And by then you're like, man, you, you whatever. But there's no way to win with that person. So you just check them and be done with them. Mind your damn business, lady. And I was saying this earlier. I was alluding to this, alluding to this in yesterday's video that we kind of get into that point where you just, you're going to have to just tell them, sit their stupid ass down. I mean, especially after the fifth. When they get to going crazy and blah, blah, blah. And your face at work, man, sit your stupid ass down. You lost. And that's just, that's going to have to be the attitude. Well, Trump's going to do this. Sit down. Your dumb ass lost. Y'all lost. Sit down. Sit the hell down. Sit down. And shut up. Let the adults run the country. Because your damn children can't even control your emotions. And you see it across the board with Kamala Harris screaming and stuff on stage. You see it with Joe Biden coming out, biting on children during Halloween. You see it everywhere. They're kids. Demon infested children. Not everybody. Not all. But people like this. Oh, yeah, they demon infested children.